The 76ers, they finally got their centerpiece back. Not just the center position, but they get their key guy back, Joel Embiid. He's coming back from injury, and I'm excited that the 76ers finally get this dude back because it just makes for, for great basketball when you see the 76ers match up against uh, Denver Nuggets or something, and the Sixers have Joel Embiid. Uh, you, you see a great matchup from the bigs, but... Um, above all of that stuff in terms of personnel, what I'm super excited to see here is um, the 76ers get back to being one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. I know they're sitting eighth seed right now, but I'm predicting them to go on a five-game winning streak and clinch this sixth seed to wrap up before the playoffs. I know it's going to happen here, and I'll explain that shortly, but you got to keep in mind, too, before Joel and B got hurt, the 76ers was a third seed. They were winning game after game. Embiid was playing at an MVP level. Um, Maxi was balling out doing his thing. Everybody was clicking very, very well together on the 76ers prior to Joel Embiid getting hurt. But once he went down, that's when you seen him start to fall smaller and smaller and get back um, in the standings. You've seen the 76ers kind of decrease and they didn't have as much hype. People weren't excited to watch a 76ers versus Miami Heat game like they're going to be excited tonight. And Joel Embiid coming back, not only am I saying, okay, he's going to play at an MVP level, but one of the reasons why I say it's going to help the 76ers, regardless of if he plays at an MVP level or not, I'm returning from injury, even in the playoffs, is because when Embiid is in the game, it helps this offense so much, and it helps them on the defensive end so much in a huge way. It makes this team so much better defensively because not only do you have a presence in the paint but you have a guy who can hold his own on the island and he's gonna protect the paint if he does nothing else on that defensive end gonna grab hella rebounds and then don't forget this guy can go coast to coast if he really really needs to not that he will but if he has to he can he's gonna run a transition get you easy buckets on the other end but outside of fast break play even if you're in a set offense which is probably gonna run through joel and the beat this guy having Maxi, Kelly Oubre, Tobias Harris, all of these guys who are great players, they will have less time to, or they'll have less emphasis on scoring rather than um, trying to get a bucket each time because you'll have Joel Embiid on the floor this time. So um, adding Embiid, it's going to help take the pressure off of these other guys to score the ball. These pure buckets who can score the ball like Maxi. Kelly Oubre, Tobias Harris, those guys won't have to worry about scoring as much. They can focus on something else in impacting the game in a positive way because you'll have Embiid who's going to hold the scoring toe. You'll have Embiid to get other people open and make these open shots and make these easy shots and these easy layups and, and just the easy buckets on the offensive end. So, you know, adding Joel Embiid is going to be huge for the 76ers team, and I'm loving it, man. I'm super excited that we get to watch this, and I doubt they end up falling to the play-in game, but since they're sitting at number eight right now if they were to play anybody in a play-in game in the eastern conference i'm 1000 percent positive they would end up winning but i doubt that's even the case they're gonna get that six seed and the main reason i say they get this six seed is because they play the miami heat tonight uh, and, and you know win or lose it doesn't matter but the next five games after the miami heat is really just a cakewalk bro <laughs> they got the memphis grizzlies the san antonio spurs the detroit pistons Orlando Magic in the New York Knicks. The toughest game here is going to be the New York Knicks that they play. Grizzlies are beat down and injured. I think last time I looked, um, they had 11 people with injuries resting in a game, or they had 11 different lineup changes. It was something crazy. Um, it was a statistic on them being injured. So I'm not worried about the Memphis Grizzlies. We know they haven't been a factor all season since John Morant been gone. Um, the Spurs... Obviously, Wimby is there, but, you know, nothing too big, nothing too much to worry about. I'll say that Pistons is an easy win, unfortunately. Magic is an easy win, unfortunately. And then the New York Knicks is going to be a, a tough battle. But I think when push comes to shove, that Philadelphia 76ers team are going to show why they were the third seed at one point. So I'm excited for it, but it sounds like a six-game winning streak to me, including Miami Heat.